Um, I'll whistle the third verse for you. I was dreaming of the past And my heart was beating fast I began to lose control take some questions from the floor? Yes. Do you have any tips of songwriting, Marina? Drink wine. Really? Yes. Wine, wine is... Oh. Lots of clapping, by the way. I didn't really drink acknowledge how good that was. Drink wine and get a dog. That's your tip to songwriting, is to drink wine and get a little dog. Yeah. What are you eating? Some crisps. Oh. I think everyone really enjoyed my whistle, actually. I thought it was really mm. good. I can't whistle today in my life. Yeah, they were, they were very much. I think that was that was going good. Um, um, are you are you going to still send handwritten invitations for? Yes, the I shop? am. Only for the gold members. Only for gold mm. members, I'm afraid. Mm. Yes, you probably get those in about the middle of November, I think. Is that correct? Mm. Yeah. Did you consider calling Wolfie anything else? Yeah, we did actually. We have a safety name in case. He came out and didn't look remotely like his name. We were going to call him Henry George, weren't we? But as he was covering so much hair, yeah. we figured... He came out rocking a Mohican, it was awesome. He came out like screaming his head off, he was like... Wah! I love him. 
loads of hair. Tons of hair. What's the, your favourite lyric that you've written? Oh. Well, do you know what? I never wasn't my favourite lyric before, but I guess. I guess because of what's happened to me recently, and it's really weird how sort of prescient the lyric was. There's a song of mine called Vina Cava, and there's a line in it called Nine Months Elton John, or I don't know. Stadium tour. Yeah, if it was a stadium tour. Defo. Is there a song about Wolfie? There is a song called Wolf and I on the Skeleton Key EP, which is all about him. Mm. Would you support Kylie? I would support Kylie in a heartbeat. But I wouldn't wear hot pants. Hmm. Ever thought of putting out an official live album? Yeah. I think we'll do that. Maybe we'll do it one day. Will you speak to us if they have silver tickets in December? Yes, yes of course they're coming I will speak to you if you have silver tickets. It's actually pretty much sold out that whole entire show now, by the way. Well, all tickets are sold, yeah. No, there's, there's like 10 left or something. But yeah. Oh, what, 10 normal tickets? Like yeah, there's nothing in the um, what else? Talk to me while I work at something. What do you have planned for Nunnington? Or yeah, Minnington, yeah. as Alan asked? Um, a show. A show? When is the album likely out? Spring. Hmm. March, May, April. Um, what's your favourite Steve Dan album? That's a really good question. Can I have a joint fave? Because mm. one is early Steely and one is late Steely, or, or prime Steely then. It's either Can't Buy Thrill or Asia. Ajax. Asia. It's got an X on it. It's really difficult. I really. Asia is such a great record, and yet my favourite, favourite, um, one of my fa my second, my tied joint favourite, I've got two joint favourites, um, Reading in the Years and Babylon Sisters, I mean they're like my double A side of favouriteness of Stevie Dan, but Babylon Sisters is not another of those albums, but I love them, those albums so much. In fact, I've got a plan, I actually really want to do, for fun, an album of Steely Dan covers. I want to do my own, like my favourite ten Steely Dan tracks, and do my own versions of them. And there wouldn't be an homage. Did you know, call it Steely Fan? Fans. Steely Fan, yeah, Steely Fan. Well, I love you, Donald. I think I'd cry if I met Donald Fagan. I would actually get on my knees and go, oh, "I'm not worthy." He's like Steely Dan are my Beatles. You know, I I love the Beatles, but I don't worship them in the way I worship Steely Dan. I would quake if I met Donald Fagan. Norena, was it intentional that Sophia starts with the same chords as the chorus of Reading in the Years? You're right! Fire, fire escapes the fear. Oh, yeah. Are you it's actually. There's no, it's the chorus. It's not because the. Um, yeah, she. The person said the chorus. Because it's. Um, Sorry, but yes, it is. But no, not intentional. Although it's hardwired in me that song. To be I, fair I though, they're pretty piano. obvious. Really weird. Though. I can play on guitar. I'm used to playing reading in the ears on piano. Who's your favourite musician? Prince. Not Jason Rubello. Well, Jason was like really influential, and I kind of got into the music business because of him. But I think even he would go. Prince is pretty fucking stellar. What's your favourite single of this year? Favourite single of this year? Probably CeeLo. Definitely. There's been quite a few people asking for you to play that. I see you driving around town. No, I, I will. I will, but not today. <laughs> fuck you and fuck her too, yeah. Fuck him too. Fuck her too, yeah. Did you know that Alexandra Bergaga has the same chorus chords as Sophia? Alejandro? Mm. Yeah, but my song came first. Maybe Lady Gaga has been influenced by me. It's not said Madonna. Il de Benita. Well, and also Ace of Bass. All that she wants is another baby. 
So you ripped off Ace of Base? No, I can't say that Ace of Base have ever been an amazing influence on me. Possibly by osmosis, because I did actually buy one of their records. 